For the first time ever, the ladies were kicked off a trip on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. The drama on the July 24 episode started when Kenya Moore rejoined the group at the house Marlo Hampton rented in Blue Ridge. After her fight with Marlo the night before, Kenya slept at her own cabin down the street, but in the morning, she made her way over to Marlo's house and told Sonia Richards Ross that she didn't agree with the way Marlo was treating her nephews. Kenya revealed that when she was younger, she, too, was kicked out of a family member's house and it added to the trauma she had already experienced in her life. So she didn't love hearing that Marlo kicked her own nephews out of her house and told them to go live with their other aunt for a while. Kenya told this to Sonia privately, but since Sonia is the new bone collector, she ran right to Marlo and told her what Kenya had said. So before everyone gathered in the cars to go mining for gems, Marlo asked Kenya if she could speak to her privately. Kenya refused, so Marlo chased her around the house. Kenya then asked if they could have their talk in front of the group, but Marlo didn't want to do that so nothing was getting resolved. And because Marlo didn't want to deal with Kenya's drama, she told her to go home. But, of course, Kenya refused, so everyone sat in the driveway for over 90 minutes trying to resolve what was going on. All the while, Drew Sidora was making things worse by starting her own drama with Sherry Whitfield's friend, Fatum. Fatum had previously made accusations about Drew's husband, Ralph Pittman, so Drew said she wouldn't ride in the same car as Fatum. She also said that Fatum is basically Sherry's lapdog, as she let out some barks. As the Blue Ridge trip continues, Marlo stands firm on the ultimatum she gave to Kenya. The beef between Drew and Fatum is reignited when Fatum shows up unexpectedly. Marlo breaks down and makes a shocking decision that changes the trajectory of the rest of the trip. Growing more and more frustrated by the minute, Candy Burris came up with an idea to check out the lake behind the house. She invited some of the ladies to join her, and eventually, everyone started jumping on the trampoline in the backyard. Afterwards, Marlo decided to put any and all drama to the side so the ladies could enjoy their time in Blue Ride. But that obviously didn't last very long. When the ladies got to the place where they'd be mining for gems, Fatim tried sitting near Drew, and Drew immediately moved away. Fatim then started yelling at Drew, and told her to sit back down. Drew separated herself from the situation, and Fatum eventually calmed down. But once everyone returned to the house, Marlo broke down in tears. She told Sherry and Sonia that she didn't want to deal with the drama anymore. Then, she called a house meeting and once everyone was gathered together, she told everyone to go home. Marlo told the ladies that she ordered cars for everyone and she wanted them to leave. She said she planned the trip so she could get support from them in her time of need, but everyone was only making her life more stressful. And while no one really agreed with Marlo's decision, they respected it and started packing their bags. But not before Drew threw a dog bone at Fatim for being Sherry's lap dog and causing a lot of the drama on the trip. Want more drama? New episodes of The Real Housewives of Atlanta air Sundays at 8pm on Bravo.